the first person who came to mind was actually a, a friend of mine who passed away, uh, Steve McKay. saxophonist with Iggy Pop and the Stooges, and he recorded on the Funhouse album, which in my opinion laid the foundation for saxophone in punk music and rock and roll. Like I feel like he kind of started that movement. Oh, so at the time, you know, jazz was obviously well established and was starting to head into more fusion and other subgenres, but um, punk rock was coming out and you know people debate whether like who wrote the first punk line but a lot of people tend to agree that Iggy Pop and the Stooges kind of set the bar for what would be known as a punk performance and um, Steve was part of that first lineup you know and he played sax on the on the album it's another really interesting thing about uh, that instrument is that Steve only ever had that tenor like, so through all the years, the sax started get, getting all of this gunk and age and wear and tear, you know? But it's like still the original horn from the original album. Too long. I call it His long. widow, Patty, reached out to me and she's like, she said, Steve would want his horn played. And if I entrust it to you, will you carry on his memory? So. I agreed and whenever I perform with the femmes or, you know, any of the acts that I play with, I, I always make a point to play Steve's horn and, and, and hope to try to carry on his legacy. And wow, that's uh, crazy. You're, you're playing the original punk horn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What it is. It's a pretty big honor to be entrusted with. Oh, yeah, 